Hi guys, thank you so much for being here and I really do hope you're doing well. Paracord is one of the most versatile items out there. In fact, for me, it is my most used outdoor equipment. I use it more than any other equipment I have. I don't always use my shelter when I go out. I don't always use my knife when I go out. I don't always use cooking equipment when I go out. I always, always, always use paracord in one form or another. I want to talk you through why this is such a great piece of equipment, talk you through the basics about paracord, give you some hints and tips and some great uses. Okay, so what is paracord? It's a really brief overview if you've never come across it. It's a nylon type of cordage, um, which is another word for sort of a, a rope. Um, most people, most lay people, would call um, things like this rope or twine or string, but it's actually referred to as cordage. It has an outer sheath. In this particular instance, it's like an olive green colour, but they do come in various different colours, from camo right through to bright colours, dark colours. Any colour you can think of, you could probably get paracord in. That sheath, when pulled back, has seven internal strands of nylon. In each one of those strands has three strands woven together to, to form each individual strand. So you've got quite a few pieces of nylon strand there and then the sheath on top makes it extremely extremely strong. In fact paracord is often called 550 paracord and that's in reference to the, reference to the fact that it can hold 550 pounds worth of weight. And that is static weight, that's, it's not a dynamic rope so you can't go climbing with this. Uh, if you did go climbing with it you'd have to be very cautious. There are some people that make ladders and things out of paracord. Um, you'd have to be very cautious that you're not putting any, any kind of movement load on, onto it or sharp instant impacts. It's used for various different things. One of the major things that paracord is used for is setting up your shelter, uh, making a ridge line to hang a tarpaulin over, to make an A-frame structure, uh, using it to peg out the corners of tar tarpaulins. Um, there are other things that you can do with it though because it's so versatile. You can actually create things like a bow drill. Now, you, you all know about friction fire, I would assume. That's where people rub two sticks together. The most common way to do that, um, or energy efficient way to do that, is to have a bow drill. And for that, you need cordage. Paracord is perfect for that. Um, talking of starting fires, it's actually a f quite flammable because of, of the, uh, the nylon component to this. So if you take pieces of paracord here and you take a lighter or some kind of um, uh, fire, move everything out of the way, you can actually set it on fire and it will burn quite happily once it catches fire. It will need to catch fire of course because it is a synthetic material you don't want to be breathing this too much but when it gets going it will get going. There we go. So it's the paracord actually a light now, and that will burn burn itself out. Give you a, a great way to start a fire if you're struggling on a wet day and you need some some kind of momentum. Your, your lighter keeps blowing out. If you can get this started, it will stay alight until it runs out of material. We'll just keep that going there for a few moments. And remember, if you are doing that, you will leave some kind of residue on the floor, some kind of melted um, uh, paracord. So do remember to clean that up if you are using this as a method. I would suggest this is a survival method. If you're in dire straits, you would be burning the paracord. It's not something you want to be using to start fires all the time. There are much more ecologically friendly ways to do so. Another great use of paracord is as shoelace. It's so obvious when you think about it, but if you exchange your regular shoelace with some paracord, you're going to have very, very tough boot lace uh, or shoelace, and it's going to last you a lot longer, and it's going to stand up to a lot more in the natural environment. There's medical uses, though, for paracord. You can actually use it as a tourniquet. So, say, for example, you slip using your knife, you cut a major artery, you can wrap the paracord around, tie it tight, and because it's got such a high-breaking straight uh, uh, strength to it you can actually then put a stick in there twist it and twist it and twist it you can cut off your blood circulation 
stemming that blood flow so that you're not going to bleed out and you're going to be able to do so without the cord breaking which is the important bit of the tourniquet of course you can also use it as a sling because it can again the weight of your arm is not going to be very heavy for paracord you just literally wrap it around your body as, as you would a normal sling and then you place your arm in it. Uh, it it takes a bit of invention but i'm sure you're up for it other things that you can use it for medically is you can use it to strap fingers together as a splint or strap um, branches to your person if you need to make a splint if you end up getting a break while out in nature the smaller inner strands they can be taken apart individually they're connected at the end at the moment just because they are fused together but if you make a slight cut there there'll be individual strands that you can pull out those individual strands can be used to repair many things even wounds so if you cut yourself if you need to stitch yourself and you've got a sewing kit you can use that as your um, sewing material the other thing that you can use it for of course is not sewing your body together but sewing your materials together if you get a rip in your fabric you can sew it together if you want to darn your socks you could do so you can use those thin inner lines as fishing line as well they're thin enough in a survival situation to use as as a, a fishing line or even a snare line if you if you need to use that if you need to make a trap for people this is tough enough to be a tripwire the list goes on and on of course you can use it uh, for regular things like tool lanyards you simply take a take a, a piece out turn it into a loop put it through your tool and you have your lanyard you can make zipper pulls clotheslines literally just stretching it out uh, across two trees will give you a good usable clothesline especially if you do two sections and twist those sections together it, you can use this internal piece for dental floss if you want to keep good oral hygiene when you're out in the woods you can create of course structures you can create tripods you can um, lash different pieces of woods branches things like that together to create larger structures um, you can make tripods for sawing, like two saw benches. The list, the list goes on and on and on. But there are some interesting ways to carry paracord as well. Let me talk you through those. You can see there are lots of different types of ways to use paracord. It's extremely versatile. But there are great ways to carry it as well. If you buy it in the shop, you probably get it on a spool like this. And these spools are great keeping for keeping things tidy for taking off an amount of paracord that you need without getting paracord all over your bag and knotted up and well you know what it's like if you get cords knotted up they just seem to take forever to get out um, something like that can even fit in your pocket very easily and you get about 50 meters or so there you get a lot of uses out of 50 meters the other ways that you can carry paracord are wear them i'm wearing one right now around my neck here we go this is a paracord necklace. It's been woven and it's, it's not for everyday use. This is more of a survival tool. It has a, a sort of a little clip there that you can easily just unclip to take off. But you'd wear this with you and you ha have it with you at all times in case you have an emergency need for paracord. We're not talking about paracord, you know, using a bit to tie something up here and there. You can use the big spool for that. But you're talking about paracord that might save your life. You know, if you needed that tourniquet, if you needed to sew up a wound in nature and you didn't have any other means, that could save your life. The tourniquet could save your life. Very important to have an emergency source with you. One of the most common types of way to carry paracord uh, is, is also wearing it is one of these. That's a paracord bracelet. And this is known as the cobra weave. Um, it's actually easy to learn. Once you learn it, once you kind of get it in your head, you can do it over and over again. So you can actually use this as a reusable item. Again, it just has a clip buckle at the back that you can just unclip with ease. It takes a while to unweave these ones, just, just because it does take probably a minute or two to unweave them. Um, but if you need some instantaneous paracord, there are certain ways that you can learn to wrap the paracord so that it's quick release. For example, this one here, if I remove that piece there and pull really quickly, all of the paracord there becomes instantaneously available. Now that's great because if you need it in an emergency, like tying up uh, a wound or tourniqueting a wound or some other emergency, it's available for you instantly. 
These things, great if you've got a bit of time to unweave them, but definitely useful because because it's a you know carrying that quick release one there you've got to carry that bundle in your pocket all the time you need that space that's where these come in other ways to carry it are on your keys key fobs that's one that i made earlier i think that's a, a, a box knot they call it um that's pretty simple to make and that just sits on my swiss army knife this goes with me everywhere if you've not seen my swiss army knife video my victorinox spartan one check it out up there this is an essential everyday carry piece of kit as is the paracord hence why they are twinned together in this form another way i mentioned it earlier boot lace zipper pulls both of those your zipper pulls nice and easy you can have them on everything just take out the regular zipper break it off put in the paracord and there are some really interesting and nice ways to weave um, into very thick nice um, zipper pulls that are easier to grab for you that will last a lot longer than the flimsy piece of metal that you get in a lot of zips these days and could possibly save your life your boots as well if you replace all your boot laces with paracord anytime you need paracord you're literally walking around with quite a bit on each foot so you've got them for emergency uses there are just so many ways to carry and to use paracord it really is, I think, the everyday carry item. There's no reason not to carry it. The great thing about it as well is it's, it's just so affordable. It's one of these items that everyone, even from like a young kid getting into the outdoors, can go and purchase and carry and start using immediately. Even if you buy pieces of paracord that have been woven into different things like the bracelet, like that necklace, those items are still relatively cheap because you're essentially having a really useful item that you can wear on you you don't have to think about it you just clip it on in the morning and it's there if you ever need it of course i couldn't cover all of the possible uses and tips for paracord it would just be massive it'd be too much for me to handle but i may have missed your favorite use for paracord so if i did miss your favorite use of paracord or a really cool use of paracord that you know about please do leave it in that comment section down there and until the next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Buy this and more at meanandgreen.com. If you like this video, good news, I'm going to be making more. What I would ask of you is to please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Also, check out some of my recent videos here. Remember to get involved in the comment section where some great discussions happen. And finally, this is the most important thing. If you think you know someone that would like this, Tell them, your friend, your dad, your cat, just tell them.